Loch Fruki's Cranog can be clearly seen looking back from here. Cranogs are man-made islands, many of which can be seen on Scottish lochs and which frequently are of prehistoric origin. Associated with this Cranog is the legend of a young man, Frauch, who, at the request of Lady May, went to the dragon-inhabited island to gather rowan berries. He successfully completed this task, having evaded the dragon, but the lady insisted that nothing would please her except that he return to her with the uprooted tree. On his second visit to the island, he uprooted the tree, but awoke the dragon. In mortal combat, Frouch's legs and arms were torn off by the dragon, but he did manage to slay it. May found them both lying dead, side by side on the shore. Seemingly, true love never did run smooth. Beyond the top end of Loch Fruhi, the road starts to climb over the final bridge on this tour, but continue on as this road, the highest in Britain, is also without doubt one of the most spectacular, descending to Loch Tay. If you wish to pause before leaving Glenquaich behind, do take a moment to glance back and try to imagine just how many people traversed this route in all weathers, leaving footprints stretching back at least 2,000 years.